Okay, in the last video we talked about arrays. In this video I want to talk about loops. Loops are a very, very common programming thing, right? Just like arrays, just like variables, it doesn't matter what programming language you use, you're always going to use loops in some way. And every programming language handles loops a little bit differently, but they're all pretty much handled the same way. The syntax might be slightly off, but for the most part, loops are universal. So let's erase what we did in the last video here and talk about loops. So a few videos back we talked about comparison operators and one of them allows us to increase and decrease a thing by one. And if you remember that was the plus plus and the minus minus. The plus plus obviously you add one to a thing, the minus minus you subtract one from a thing. And so let's write some code because we're going to use that when we deal with loops. So let's create a variable, we'll call it a, and let's say that a equals one. Now, if we want to increase this by one, we would just write dollar sign a plus plus. Now we can echo out a, save this, and if we re reload our app, it should be two. Yep. So that's good. So we're going to use this in just a minute here. There are several different kinds of loops that you can use, and we're going to look at most of them, the important ones in this video. The first one we're going to talk about is the while loop. So let's call this a while loop. And basically a while loop looks like this while statement. Do something and if you'll think back this looks a little bit like the if statement remember our if statement was if something do something right same basic structure while something do this so while something is true do this when that something stops being true stop doing that so let's create an actual while loop so you can see exactly what's going on here. So start out with our a equals one while a is less than 10. Remember our less than operator. Do something. So what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to echo our variable. And we also then want to increase the variable by one why well what happens here when a while loop runs what it's going to do is going to check to see if this is true and then it's going to do this and then it's going to come back around and do this again it's going to check to see if this is true then it's going to do this then it's going to check to see if this is true then it's going to do this over and over and over and over and over again for infinity until you tell it to stop so we need to tell it to stop in some way and we do that by incrementing our variable a by one so what's going to happen now is it's going to see is a less than 10? Well, a is 1. So 1 is less than 10. So it will echo out a, which is 1. But then it will take a, which is 1, and add 1 to it. So a now becomes 2. So then the whole loop starts over again. And 2 is less than 10. Yes, it is. So it will echo out 2. And then it will add 1 to 2. So a now becomes 3. 3 is less than 10. So it will do this add one, a becomes four, four is less than 10, it will add one, do this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, finally, it'll get to 10, and 10 is not less than 10, so it will stop doing this, it will not do this again, and then it will end. So let's save this and hit reload. Oops, what did we forget? Yep, forget my semicolon every time. So hit reload, and boom, we see one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So if we actually, Add another line of code here and let's do a, a page break. This is just an HTML page break. It'll make this a little bit easier. I forgot my, <laughs> you, you'd think I would learn, but nope. Okay, so reload. And now it's up and down because we added a, a line break. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why does it not print out 10? Because as soon as A reaches 10, it stops and it does not echo out 10. So if we change this to start at zero and save this, it would start out at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we change this to 11, then we would get a 10, 10, boom. And there we go. So actually, here's something fun. Let's 
let's take off this incrementing thing. Now, I do not suggest you do this because this is this is created what's called an infinite loop because we're not incrementing every time our thing is going to be zero. So once it starts over, it's going to say a is less than 10. Zero is less than 10. So it will print out zero and then it will come back here. Start over again. Zero is less than 10. It'll print out zero. Zero is less than 10. Print out zero. Infinite loop. So let's hit reload. And we just see zero, 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 zero. And if we scroll, you see it's adding more zeros, more zeros, more zeros. And it's just crashing. So let's close this down. And now we have to restart our server because we've crashed the thing. So I don't suggest you do, you do that, but that's a problem because that'll happen to you. You'll, you won't be paying attention. You'll forget to increment and your loop will blow up because you've created an infinite loop. So that's something to keep in mind. The next loop we're going to look at is the for loop. So let's erase this one. So for loops are a little bit trickier and sometimes people have a little bit of trouble wrapping their brains around them, but they're not too bad. Basically a for loop looks like this. For expression one condition increment do something right so it, you see it's the same format we've got the this testing thing here and then whatever you put in here that's what's going to be done on the screen but what's going on here expression condition and increment well we talked about increment in the last loop the while loop that was when we went a plus plus right that, that incremented it and in in the while loop we did that down here in the for loop we're going to do it up here so it's just moving things around a little bit and so let's let's dive in here and actually make one of these so you can see what's going on here so for let's see Let's use our a variable again for a equals let's just say one oops equals one semicolon now we need our condition and our condition is if a is less less than 10 just like we did in the last one and now our increment we're going to say a plus plus so you see it's basically the same stuff we were doing with the while loop but we're just adding all this stuff up here instead of putting some of it down here, right? So let's echo A. And let's also put our page break again. Oops. Okay, so let's save this and open our thing again remember we had to close it because we did the infinite loop and we get the same output one through nine and if you look through here this is the our initial expression a equals one and this is the thing that we're going to test for the condition a is if a is less than 10 do this stuff and after you do this stuff increment it by one so basically the same as a while loop it's just sort of written a little bit differently and there's reasons why sometimes you want to use a while loop sometimes you want to use a for loop as you get into this stuff and start using these things more often, it'll become obvious which one you want to use in, in which case. Uh, right now, you just need to sort of learn that these things exist. And like I said, as we go on, you'll this will make a lot more sense. But that is really basically uh, loops in a nutshell. They're, they're not that hard. They're, they're very basic. But even as a web developer, you're going to use loops quite a bit. We talked in the last video about arrays and you know, especially numeric arrays, you might want to loop through, you know, output every expression in an array. Well, you can do that very easily with a loop. In fact, we can do that right now using this for loop. So let's pull up our, our colors array. Remember we did the numeric, numeric array uh, with colors earlier, right? So this look so here's our array colors array blue red green purple oops so this is what we had before now this is something new array length what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to count how many things are in this array in fact let's just let's just echo this out and look and see what we got here 
we hit reload, boom, four. So there are four things in this array. One, two, three, four, right? Now that's useful because we need to know how many times to loop through here. So here's our four uh, loop. And this is just what we just did. X equals zero. We're, we're creating a new variable. We're calling it X. We're starting it out as zero. Now our, our condition is if X is less than the array length. Remember our array length is four, right? So X starts out at zero because arrays start out at zero, remember? Now we want to loop through here and then add one to X. So we don't have an infinite array or an infinite loop. So now we're just going to echo out the array and the number. In this case, it's going to be this number here. So the first time we go through here, X will be zero. So it will, it will output the first thing in the array because remember arrays start with zero. So it should output zero. Then it will add one to X. So X will become now zero plus one is one. The first area and the first guy in the array is red because this was zero. He's one, so it will output red. Then it will add one. X will become two, which is green. Then it will become three, which is purple. So if we've done this right, we save this, hit reload. We should boom, 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 boom. Blue, red, green, purple. And I forgot to turn off our echo of that guy. There you go, blue, red, green, purple. So now if we add another color, pink, whatever, save it. This should still work and it should output the pink because our array length now becomes five because there's five things in here. Zero, one, two, three, four. But if you count that on your hand, that's zero is one, one is two, two is three, three is four, four is five. So there's five things in here. Uh, they start with zero when you name them. So here's how we've, we've very quickly just used our for loop to loop through our array and output everything in there. So that's really cool, really easy. Play around with this, do it yourself, make your own array, uh, familiarize yourself with these because you're gonna use them a lot and that's all for this lesson. And if you wanna get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.